it's been a while since I have uh, posted anything sort of car related um, um, in terms of the stuff that I work on and uh, I've been uh, dicking around with this computer crap and messing around with that you can see it's all covered over right now because I got another little project going on that I've wanted to do for a long time um, and now is probably a good time to do it because I don't really feel like going into another car project right now so we have here um, a Saab cylinder head um, this is the original head off of my 85 so it's the it's if you watch any of my other Saab videos I have a few different I have a description of a, a couple of the different types of heads so this is the uh, 935-824 head it was kind of bespoke for only like the 84, 85, 86 years. They feature uh, the oiling tubes that kind of come up here and right along the top. Um, they have a different cam profile compared to the rest uh, of the most of them. And also they have a different shaped combustion chamber uh, with different squish pads here compared to the other heads. Um, bottom line is this head is very poor flowing um, even compared to that goofy port head the ports are very very small indeed uh, small and wheezy um, having said that the ports are, are wheezy uh, but the exhaust um, side is actually basically the same on every Saab cylinder head that I've ever looked at uh, big port small port the, they're all basically the same design and the same measurements um, as you can see I've measured a couple of heads here I have the uh, the big port head measurements uh, and then the uh, this A24 casting um, and you can see it's significantly smaller in comparison um, in terms of the in intake manifold connection as well as the throats are uh, much smaller uh, the diameter at the valve seat is obviously very close um, because the valves and all these heads are the same size um, intake and exhaust valve there um, the, the valves have pretty much never changed they're the same valves that Saab used all the way up uh, same size different valves but the same size valves were used all the way up until basically the end of Saab um, there are different designs of the valves uh, Trionic 7 cars have the same valve uh, diameter like the face diameter they have thinner stems uh, thinner stems obviously uh, protrude less into the airway making better flow. T5, Trionic 5 cars, uh, have 7 millimeter stems as you see here, except this area here where the air is going by has been thinned. That is also an improvement to flow. The exhaust valves, uh, most of them are pretty much the same uh, sodium filled, you know, deals. Uh, I know that some of the cars had like mnemonic or, you know, uh, and Conal or some, some other type of exhaust valves, but I know the diameters are the same. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to be installing this head with these squish pads onto my uh, my my built engine. Um, basically doing this uh, with the pistons that I have on the engine, which are the pistons from basically a goofy port engine. This head installed on that will give about 9.6 or 9.7 to 1 compression. Uh, it seems very, very high for a turbo uh, build, but... Um, um, I'm going to give it a go because I'm pretty sure that I can pull it off uh, and the engine is going to have very, very good torque, very good drivability, and I'll have to use a lot smaller turbo in order to get the power that I'm after. I'm not after a huge dyno number. I'm after really, really good mid-range and very, very good drivability, and I believe that this head ported is going to give me that. Um, so what I've done, and this is not just a one-cylinder sob cylinder head I have gone and cut a this is a what head casting is this basically this is the 2.1 slash 2.3 like 1990 to 1993 head uh, the ports are way bigger in comparison to to this deal um, and actually the the throat sizing and stuff um, is basically close to the very very close to the ideal port size based on th there is an ideal port size calculation 
dependent on the actual valve size. Uh, and this head actually comes very, very close to that ideal. Um, I have, the reason I have cut this head open, um, the rest of it's over there, uh, is to have a look at how the heads are constructed and um, it, it allows me to basically see the areas which um, are needing of work, you know, like the low side radius. Uh, it allows me to see how the pockets are, you know, without, without you know, guessing um, about what the ports are like. This is a very good way to, sac you know, it's a sacrificial head. It was, it was a garbage head. It was me experimenting ways to remove valve guides and stuff like that. So it's a trash head anyway. It had high mileage, so don't, don't complain to me. Um, it allows me to, sh uh, to, to uh, also determine how much can be removed without accidentally coming through into the coolant gallery. As you can see here, the, this area is filled with coolant. Um, and then we have, obviously, it allows me to see uh, whether valve guides come down and, and how that will have to get adjusted when I port. Uh, it's also kind of cool to see how the uh, lifters are oiled through the oiling hole on this style of head versus this head. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to basically, uh, I'm going to use this head as a model because this is actually in terms of ideals quite good, uh, because like I said, the throat sizing here is very, very close to the ideal size for these sizes of valves. If you were go, if you were to go increase this diameter of the valve by installing different seats, etc., you would then in order to become, uh, to get the most out of that, you would need to enlarge the throats and um, that's something not something i'm really into because i mean it's a turbocharged engine you can just use boost to get more power um so but this at least like i said allows me to have a look at the pockets has have a look at the low side radius in here and see where improvements can be made we have the other half of the head here um and like i said i didn't cut it dead center down the or tried to get it dead centered on the valve guides but you can see on here the port construction. Um, and you can see the coolant galleries and where the coolant is running through. And you can see the spark plug, how the spark plug well comes down. And where, like I said, this will, you know, allows me to see where I can get the pocket improved. It allows me to see the low, you know, the low side radius. It's actually quite decent. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's surprisingly good. So, I mean, that's a little, you know, that's a little steep, and, but what, but nevertheless, this is, like I said, this is what the goal for that small port head is going to be. I'm going to need to remove a substantial amount of material. As you can see, the combustion chambers are totally different on this head compared. I'm going to need to remove a substantial amount of material from that 85 head to come to the close to what I'm looking for, but uh, we're going to give it a go. So yeah, we're enlarging it from uh, about 23 millimeters up to about 26 millimeters, which is, you know, roughly the ideal. So uh, about 30 hours of manual labor and head or, uh, headphones and boring, boring nights. Uh, hopefully we can come up with a good result. I'm going to be using Trionic 5, which is like the Saab 9095 or 94 up. Uh, 2.3 engine. I'm going to use those valves for my intakes because those valves will of course flow better because they have this area in here um, in here cleared out and thinned out. Um, so that's going to be an also substantial improvement of flow. Um, and then of course uh, to, to port match I have already the larger 2.1 liter Saab 900 intake manifold to match up to this. The head that's on the car now has been port matched perfectly to that manifold and so obviously this head is going to have to go through that same treatment when that come when the head comes off but when that head comes off uh I'm, I'm basically not going to take that head off and and dick with the intake manifold until this is ready to go on i don't want to have a non-driving car with the head off sitting outside so yeah stay tuned if anybody's interested in the, any of this sob tuning just uh comment below and uh and i'll answer some more questions maybe even make another video not many people sacrifice cylinder heads, but I don't care. Bye for now.